Brian Thompson, the CEO of United Health Care, was fatally shot and killed outside the New York Hilton Midtown Hotel on Wednesday. The New York Police Commissioner described the incident as brazen and targeted attack as per its early stage of investigation. Take a look at this report for more. Brian Thompson, the CEO of United Healthcare, was fatally shot and killed on Wednesday. The incident occurred outside the New York Hilton Midtown Hotel. Thompson was walking alone to United Health's investors event when he was shot in the back and leg. The New York City police described the incident as brazen and targeted attack in its early stage of investigation. In Midtown Manhattan early this morning, 50-year-old Brian Thompson, the CEO of United Healthcare was shot and killed in what appears at this early stage of our investigation to be a brazen targeted attack. This does not appear to be a random act of violence. The victim was in New York City to speak at an investor conference. It appears the suspect was lying in wait for several minutes. Chief of Detective released the disturbing images before the crime scene outside New York's Hilton Hotel. The New York Police Department discharged the three shell casting at the scene. The police department said that no arrest has been made yet and it has increased the reward in the case to $10,000. Welcome back viewers, the RBI announced significant changes in UPI light wallet limit. Now the Apex Bank has doubled up UPI light wallet limit from Rs 500 to 1000 per transaction. Watch this report for more. RBI has increased the UPI light wallet limit to Rs 5000. This move is initiated to encourage wider adoption of the instant payment statement through mobile phones. UPI Lite is a wallet that allows users to make small value transactions without using the UPI pin. Currently, the upper limit of an offline payment transaction is Rs 500, which is doubled by the RBI. As of now, the UPI Lite users have to manually reload their wallet balance from bank accounts. However, the new auto top-up feature aims to streamline the process and eliminates the need for manual reloading. Sports story we are tracking right now. The heavy margin of defeat for Australia in the first test of the, of the Border Gavaskar Trophy Series against India left the host looking for answers as the batters flopped collectively, leaving their famed bowling attack with a lot to do. However, wicket keeper batsman Alex Carey backed the team, figure out just beat Boomerang and company while also playing down suggestions of a rift. Take a look at this report by our team Sportfit, getting you the top update. India made the perfect start to the Border Gavaskar Trophy Series opener at Perth, winning by a massive 295 runs with Jaspreet Bumrah ripping apart Australia's batting in each innings. The heavy margin of the defeat left Australia looking for answers as their batters flopped collectively, leaving their famed bowling attack with a lot to do. But wicketkeeper batsman Alex Carey maintains that Australia are a united group and are confident that their world-class batters will come up with better plans to counter India's pace threat in the upcoming pink ball test in Adelaide. Jasmeet Bumrah is obviously a fantastic bowler. He has been for a number of years. Our batters are world-class as well and always find ways to come up with solutions, Carey said. Carey further elaborated on their plans for the man who captained India in the first test and hinted that they might look to be more aggressive against him so as to force Bumrah to bowl with the old ball as well and, in theory, negate his impact due to bowling longer spells. We've had a look at him now. Hopefully, we can combat that first, second spell get him bowling a little bit deeper in the innings with an older ball, Carey said. We saw Travis Head sort of counterpunch a bit in the second innings. I trust our batters. We'll find a way not only against Bumrah. They played a couple of other debutants who bowled well as well, Carey added. After Australia was set an improbable 534 to win the first test, 
Josh Hazelwood had invited the media to ask their batters how they plan to go about things in the second innings, sparking rumours of a rift between the batting and bowling groups. Carey, however, declined that there was any tension in the dressing room. If you ask the batters, we all want to perform better and as cricketers, you go out there to score 100 and if you don't do that, I think you're at times disappointed, Carey said. But we're a very united group. We all do get the opportunity to bat and we're all keen to continue to put those big runs on the board and I trust the guys to do just that, he added. The two teams will take on each other in the second test from Friday and it will be a key clash as this was the same ground where India were all out for 36 in the last pink ball test that they played in Australia.